Hi, my name is Sonia and I am an alternative health practitioner. I am a QHHT practitioner and I do quantum healing as well. And I'm, I'm trying out a new situation here. I, I like this. I've got a lot more light. So um, we're gonna see how this works. So far this flows. And we'll see if I can get this on the client now too. I wanna share with everyone um, the latest message from my hypnosis client, my quantum hypnosis client. And she hasn't looked at the video yet, but after she came out, she said, oh my gosh, the, what I was under, what I was experiencing, please, you must share. And, and I want to wait until I watch my video, but I know that you do these universal messages. And she said, please share, just go on and do your own thing and share the universal message with everyone because who knows how many people are experiencing this. So here's what she gave me permission to share. And she had an incredibly cathartic, and very powerful quantum healing session. Um, she had, she had um, her guides, her higher self ended it, released it. She had a soul contract and I want to share with you about soul contracts. I myself had a soul contract as well. Soul contracts, you could, Call them karma if you're dealing with the yogic world, which I do. Um, soul contracts, when we want to learn something and expand more, and so we, we make an agreement to behave a certain way, live in a certain energy, and it's usually discord. It's a... It's a you know, it's like the salmon swimming against the stream. It's, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> Help me out here. Uh, it's difficulty. It's discord. Resistance. <laughs> there we go. It's resistance. And we create that resistance, which is, of course, 3D perception here on Gaia. And it's an old vibration. It's a very heavy vibration. And she had a soul contract and she was, she came to me and she wanted to know why nothing was flowing for her except maybe two aspects of her life, her relationship with her kids. And she said, and even that's got some challenges, but she raises her kids, but she gets no support payments from their father. You know, who, who's got that same story? I do. So many, many, many people have that same story. And she said, it's just like constant resistance. She can't make money being a light worker. She's this really powerful empath and she speaks light language and she's not ready. She says, I'm not ready to come out yet about that. I have to get all of that going for myself, which is why she wants to watch the video first before um, she gives me permission to post a snippet. But she says, there's no money coming to me. There's no flow and we're on, you know, financial aid and, and even that's difficult. And like, she's like, everything is difficult. It's like, I'm trying to get through life with cement blocks on a muzzle over my mouth. Um, a lock screwed into my head, into my brain. And she says, I have all these great abilities. These, what we would think of as superhuman powers and talents and gifts and I use them to the best of my ability I'm able to use them somewhat but I just can't get past this point and she says as she's been awakening in her meditations and um, just in her lucid moments throughout her day and her highest self moments as we, we all have higher self moments she said I just could feel this lock on my body. And she said it was mostly in the right side of her body. 
which is the sun side, the now side, the action side. And she said, I felt like I was just being held back and tethered and got a noose around my neck and a ball and chain on my ankle and my right shoulder hurts and the right side of my head hurts and nothing's flowing. And she's like, and I just keep giving up and then I keep trying and I keep giving up and none of it's working. So how many of you can, can relate to that? A lot of us, a lot of light workers can. So we set an intention before her session to be open to receive all information regarding whether or not there's a lock or a cording or a displaced spirit, an entity attached to her. She said, I just feel like she said, I wondered if I, I kept wondering if I had uh, spirits attached to me, displaced spirits attached to me, just like constantly holding me back and controlling me, controlling me, controlling. And she said, but then through my meditations, that's when I started to feel like this literal energetic cord going down the right side of my body. It was just, I was just held, just held like that. And she said, there's, there's got to be some way. And she kept hearing about QHHT and beyond quantum healing. Candice Craw Goldman's um, site, which I belong to, Beyond Quantum Healing. Please check out Beyond Quantum Healing when you're done watching this. I'll put a link below. Um, you'll find me on Beyond Quantum Healing as well, which is more than QHHT. So she said, you know, Beyond Quantum Healing was coming in, Quantum Healing was coming in, and that's when she found me. And um, it's been profound for her, this realization. So she goes under and she sees a life as a reptilian. And she realizes that she's been a part of a, of a dark and negative reptilian energy. She was part of that. She had lives as reptilians and was going from star system to star system, living on a, a ship, a mothership, and going into different planets and different star systems and as a dark reptilian, um, creating new uh, planets, new civilizations, but creating beings, creating bodies through genetics, um, like what we think of as like stem cell and, and, and genetic um, merging of cells. And they were creating humanoids, human-like beings to um, be slaves for them. And she saw this life where she's a male reptilian and she's torturing these humanoids and she doesn't like it. And it's awful. And she didn't want to see it. She knew she had to. And I was just channeling and guiding along with her guides who were coming in and her angels and just holding space for her and helping her to see all of this and then her guides were coming in and actually explaining to her while she's watching this, we brought her up above her body so that she would view it without feeling all of it to be able to see it from its highest space. And her guides were sharing with her, you did this for experience, but you ended up judging, especially once you came into the human world here on Gaia, you ended up judging. But everything just is. There's isness. There's oneness. It's all light, really. The dark is the illusion. Dark is also part of the light. It's an expression. We're expressing these, these aspects of our being because we want to be. But when you get into third dimensional human perception, fear comes in and there's judgment and that's a very low vibration. And this is what we're coming out of at this time. And of course, the guides were explaining that as so many guides have, as my guides have as well, as many of your guides have as well. And she understood with seeing this why her life had had such darkness, yet she's so light. This is a life for her to have that extreme mirror reflection of shadow work of the dark and pushing her into her reflection of her light again. And it was very cathartic for her. And as I was observing all of this and just channeling and guiding her, she was seeing all of this. And so then 
she saw, as then we asked, there are questions. Do I have a soul contract? Am I ported to something that's keeping me down? And, and she felt that it was reptilian. She said, but I don't want to put a label on it in case it's something different. Well, it turned out it was reptilian. She made an agreement coming onto this planet to bring in positive reptilian energy. So she actually, um, she made it, she partnered with a reptilian human, a man who is coming from the reptilian star system, came in as human. She agreed to have children with him and to bring in positive reptilian energy because she also works with the angelic realm and she's been angelic. She's been a part of what she called, what they called her, they call them the Ethereum soul group. And the angels, they said, are a part of the Ethereum soul group. Fascinating. So she agreed to bring in part of that angelic light realm and merge it with the reptilian. And they said that many, many um, light workers are from multiple star systems and merge all of these energies to, again, bring us back into this oneness. And so she has children and she has, she's combined angelic because some of her children are also angelic. They're also from other star systems as well. And she's combined all of it to bring in a positive reptilian energy. And she um, described the positive, the light reptilians as multicolored scales. They have scales and multicolored scales and their heart is so open and they're so beautiful and so loving. And they are sending in their higher vibration to change this dark reptilian energy that has been ruling this planet for so long. And I asked if there was a timeline on that. They said, no, there's no time. They said, you know, the, the ego mind could interpret it as millions of years. Some would say thousands of years, but there's no timeline because the time is happening simultaneously and there's time jumping going on all the time. Always. So then we asked, can we end the soul contract, please? What is it that she's learned from this? And they said she's learned patience and she's learned humility and she's learned that darkness is an illusion and she's learned servants. She's learned servants and, and she's learned self-love, true love, and to love that darkness, to love that dark part of herself. And so we ended the soul contract and it was incredibly, it was very cathartic for her. Um, her body was vibrating as her guides and her higher self went into the right side of the body and began to remove what were looked like um, lightning bolts, she described, out of the body. And she was shaking and tears were coming out of her eyes. And, she was experiencing an incredible cathartic release and she was saying, oh my gosh, I could feel all of this vibration going through her body. And as it was being removed, color was being brought in magenta and pinks and fuchsias and, and rainbows to go in and heal all of the, the stuck parts, the dark parts of her body. It was amazing to witness. And she, there was incredible release in her body and incredible healing and then her body was continuing to vibrate and it was calming down and the higher self was just going in and healing and healing and healing and we continued the healing i asked if we could continue the healing for as long as it took and yes we will do that so when when i brought her fullness back into her body of course with the help of her guides she I, she came out she opened her eyes she wiped her eyes and then she she looks at me and she says oh my god like i felt that like i was hearing that in my dream state that i had had the soul contract and i kept hearing reptilian but i i didn't want to believe it or i didn't know and this is so profound and my body feels so light and incredible and i asked her how she felt and she said it was amazing of course, we did the time check. How long did you feel you were under? And, and she said, you know, it felt like it was only 20 minutes. And it turned out to be it was almost two hours. And 
she said, you have to share this. You have to share this. This is amazing. And she felt that she was bringing in this positive reptilian energy. And she said, please share with everyone who will listen that the beautiful light reptilians are so loving and they want to change. They want to change all of this energy of the darkness of the lower vibration that was created back into the lightness with a lot of color and a lot of light. It's so interesting. I'm hearing a high vibration in my ears even as I speak this, which is how I, what I experience as I, as, as the healing is done throughout the session with the client and my, my frequency will just go off the charts and it's happening right now even talking about it. It's so profound. I, I shift in these sessions as the client shifts. I end up getting a high vibration and I'm, and I'm also seeing this bright orb field in the screen feeding back to me. It's so awesome. I just love it. It's amazing. So the client and I wanted to share this with you and if she um, agrees to share her video, great. If she doesn't, it's, it's out here for all of you. It's here. It's so important. It's so important. I want to hold my heart. It's so important that we all understand there is only light. Light is love. Love is light. It's not a spiritual egocentric concept. It's very real. It's very much physical in the body. Please love yourself. Can even do this if that feels good to you. Please love yourself. That's all there is. Everything is shifting. Let go of your soul contracts. You can, you can say out loud, I release all soul contracts and I call in light, white light. Always work with white light. I call in white light. I release all soul contracts. I love myself. I accept and love all parts of myself in all times and spaces. So be it. I love you. And if you feel like that hasn't shifted it enough for you, go to my website, soniawilderwellness.com and message me and make a quantum healing hypnosis session with me. I'm happy to work with you. I would love to help you to release yours. Thank you so much for watching this and connecting. For those of you that have subscribed to my YouTube channel, I'm so grateful. More subscribers daily and you will receive this great connection. We're building a wonderful online community. I'm grateful. If you haven't subscribed and you're watching this, please subscribe. It's just awesome to have you with us. And I, I look at who you are and I send you a tremendous amount of love every time. And I'm very grateful. Please like this video if you do and leave a loving comment down below. I read them all. I always send a heart and a thumbs up. And add your, your impression of this. Let's start a discussion. I would love to hear from you. So I thank you for watching and all is really good. All is really good. We're all incredibly blessed and we're coming together more. And I love you. And when I say to you, I love you, I really do. I really love you very much. Thank you.